Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 2, Question 7. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Subscription is free. This is Question 7, of course, Solving of Triangles. And this, is, of course, is a 3D uh, sketch. Please be careful. AB is a vertical flagpole that is square root of 5p meters long. AC and DD are two cables anchoring the flagpole. BC and D are in the same horizontal plane. Now BD is 2p meters tall. Uh, ACD, angle ACD is x, and angle ADC is 45 degrees. Now you must determine the length of AD in terms of p. Show that the length of CD is 3p times sine x plus cos x divide by square root of 2 sine x and 7.3 it is further given that p is 10 x is 110 calculate the area of triangle adc so if you must find the length of ad in terms of p you'll notice that ad is part of triangle abd which is a right angular triangle so therefore we can use pythagoras so AD squared is therefore AB squared plus BD squared. Then do your substitution. AB is square root of 5P and BD is 2P. Right? Square. Get rid of your brackets. Get rid of your square. And therefore AD is equal to 3P. I will advise you to then write this on your sketch. Because you might need this for the next question. You get 7.2. Show that the length of CD equals to 3P times sine x plus cos x over square root of 2 over sine x. Now, this, there's a lot of algebra involved here, but you must first look at which triangle am I going to use. Now, CD is part of two triangles. It's part of the one lying, the, the, the gray triangle, or the one which is upright. So you're going to use the one which is upright. Now, that triangle is not right angular. I'm referring to triangle ACD, of course. ACD. Then I use the sine rule. So CD over the sine of 135 minus X. Now, where is that coming from? Well, it is 180 minus, in brackets, X plus 45. So sum of the angles of a triangle. And that is where that 135 minus X is coming from. Equals to, then you take 3P, and of course, over the sine of X. That is the sine rule. Then, of course, cross multiply and make CD the subject. Then, sine of 135 minus X, you can expand as a, co a sine of a double, of a compound angle, sorry. Compound angle, expand like a compound angle, right? Do that. And then, of course, sine of 135 is the same as the sine of 45. We all know that. Cos of 135 is minus the cos of 45. So, therefore, that minus becomes a plus cos of 45 right then you can take out a uh, square then sine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2 on the calculator then you can take out square root of 2 over 2 as a common factor and you're left with cos x plus sine x then you can multiply 3p with the square root of 2 over 2 and then of course you can divide both uh, top numerator and denominator by the by square root of 2 and you get 3p equals to sine x plus cos x over square root of 2 sine x. By 7.3, if it's further given that p is 10 and x is 110, calculate the area of triangle ADC. Now you have to use, you can't use the, 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 the area formula for triangle half sine, half base times height. That's not going to work. You must use the one we've learned in trigonometry, right? So the area of triangle is, is just a half times AD times CD times the sine of angle ADC. Take note, angle ADC must lie between AD and CD. Now already we know AD is 3P and CD we just managed to prove in the previous question. It is that 3P sine x cos x over sine square root 2 sine x. And of course, angle ADC is 45 degrees. Right, so the sine of 45. So once you've done that, then replace X with 110 and replace P with 10. And the rest is calculator work. And you should get 143,11 meters square. This is uh, Mathematics with Ams, Ahmed Suleiman. Please give me a huge like 
and don't forget to subscribe remember subscription is free